oh no, Facebook's rules only let me send out messages on many chat within a 24 hour window. What am I gonna do? In this short video, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take advantage of many chats sequences. Another way to refer to it as a drip campaign. So when a homeowner or a buyer or a renter or an agent comes into your chatbot, we have the 24 hour rule to send them through messenger on Facebook. But once that 24 hours is done, I'm now going to put them into a sequence campaign using SMS and email to keep nurturing that person throughout the year. So when they do engage again, we open up the 24 hours again, and I can now continue on the conversation and close the deal. If this sounds good to you, stay tuned. Hello, I am Smarty. Welcome to the Pro Edge Marketing Channel. Is this your first time here? Welcome. On this channel, I'm focusing on strategies and technology to help you make this the best decade ever. Let's get into ManyChat and let me show you how to create an effective drip campaign using ManyChat sequences. So once you're inside of ManyChat, in order to get to sequences, you're gonna come down here to automation on the left and then find sequences, the, the third option down. When I'm on sequences, uh, in my system, I, have, I use, as you can see here, I use uh, drip campaigns for all my interactions. To create a new sequence, it's very easy. There's a new button on the very top right, new sequence. I'm gonna give it a name. So let's say that I'm, I'm gonna create a motivated sellers uh, drip. I'll just call it a motivated sellers drip for a campaign. And I hit create. At this point, the campaign is defined, the drip campaign name. Now I need to add flows inside of ManyChat to send out to these motivated sellers. So over here, I'm gonna click on the button here, the green button uh, This is for this flow. What I'm gonna do here now is the very first one, I can create, uh, uh, it already creates a step here for me. I can either create a brand new message. If I click that, a box pops up and I can type in whatever the message is, or I can select an existing flow that I have in my package. So. Um, I prefer to uh, create all my flows at one time. So I'll create all my SMS and text messages inside a flow builder. And I have other videos on the channel how to create flows. So I just go and select them and I pull them into the drip campaign. Or I can say create new right here. And that goes into flow builder. But now I have an empty box and I can start saying, hey, first name, uh, this is Smarty. If you're interested in selling your house, I'm here for you. We make it so easy to sell provide all cash, take the house as is, and I would go ahead and type my message. But for this video, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna wanna see me type in all those messages. So I'm gonna come back here to the drip campaign. What I'll do here is uh, let me go in and uh, I'm gonna get rid of that guy and uh, let me start over again. So now what I'm gonna do is simply just select an existing flow. I have a full featured Pro Edge chatbot package. So all my flows are built out. It's right here, the chatbot 3.1. If you're interested in it, I have a link below. You can take it a test drive, try it out. And, uh, and it's a great, great way to get jump started with ManyChat as a realtor and investor. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm not promoting the bot here. I want to focus on the sequences. So over here, I have follow-ups. And over here, I have seller uh, SMS and investor follow-ups. So let me start with the investor seller, seller follow-ups. So what I've done is I built in my package, I have a full year's drip campaign for uh, cash, uh, for motivated sellers as a realtor. I have for buyers, renters, and, and, um, and sellers as a realtor. Um, and I have agent drips as well if you're looking to build your team. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to just simply say, uh, I'll pick one of these, like um, uh, feelings uh, is one that I have here. I'll go ahead and pull that in. While I'm at it, I'll, I'll click next message. I'll pick my next drip campaign. I'll go to the folder. I'll go down and select the folder that I, uh, the next one that I want. I'll do pre-inspection and hit select. So now I've created two uh, messages that are going to go out uh, through the sequencing uh, on this campaign. And I'll just do one more just so we have three here to play with. So over here, I'll go down to my package. I'll go to follow-ups and go to sellers and I'll just grab uh, what to hide uh, is a, a funny message that I created in there. So now I have three cash seller drips um, that, and I'll show you what they look like inside the drip. Now, in order to activate it, all you need to do is click this uh, button here to turn them green. So now these are live drips that are gonna be uh, set up to go out, but we haven't assigned this sequence to anybody. So nobody's gonna get it until I physically assign them into the sequence. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. 
The other thing I want to show you over here is on the left hand side is the schedule. So uh, when I assign somebody to the sequence, do I want the message, the first message to go out immediately or do I want to delay it? So if I want it immediately, I can click on one day and then on this drop down arrow, I can change it to immediate. So now it's going to come out immediately as soon as I assign somebody to the sequence. Now, what you can also do in this interface is you can also send between hours. So I don't want to send a text message or an email in the middle of the night when somebody's sleeping. That's that's intrusive. So what I like to do is I usually do it from eight in the morning till 10 at night or maybe back it up a little bit. Uh, eight o'clock at night. Uh, is it any day? Uh, do I want to not bother them on a Sunday um, so I can go in and identify when I want this to go out? What many chat will do is it'll skip to the next period and send it out in that next time. So. If they're assigned the sequence in the middle of the night, it won't send it immediately. It'll wait until eight in the morning and then send the text out. That's how it works. So then I go ahead and hit save. So now I have uh, immediately between eight and or eight in the morning till uh, eight at night, Monday through Saturday uh, on the first one. Now this one, I may want to wait uh, maybe uh, five days later, I'll send out my next message. And then the next one I may do 10 days later. So what's going to happen is now I've created a 20 day Three, over 20 days, three messages will go out to this person when I assign them the sequence. So uh, you could have this as, as big as you want. I'll just come back out here with my sequence and show you, for example, like here's my seller follow-ups where I have a full year worth of drips going out for a seller uh, going out every, you know, early on, it's going more rapidly, you know, every couple of days. And then as the year goes on, it goes out every six weeks or so. So they get a, a, a touch point from us each and every time as a realtor and investor. So you can make these as elaborate as you want. Now, let me show you how to assign people to this drip campaign. There's several ways you could do that. The first way is you can simply go over to audiences. Um, you could select the audience that you want. So if I want to put this person here and maybe Jenny in the sequence, up here on the top right, there's bulk actions. I, there's an option to subscribe them to a sequence. So over here, I could do this seller motivated, right? And there's the drip campaign I just created. And then I will hit um, save. So now those two people are now assigned. They are going to get a message immediately. And then the follow up five days and 10 days later after that. So they will get that out. Now let's take a look at those messages. And I want to show you uh, what they look like uh, when I create these. And you can easily create these yourself. Um, in many chat, it's very, very easy. So if I open up one of these, like what the hide is one that I used. Um, what I'm going to what I'll mention to you first and foremost is uh, back in March of, of 2020, uh, Facebook made a massive change where we cannot send messages out after a 24 hour window. So when you create these drip campaigns, make sure you do not use messages going through Messenger when you set up those flows or they will get blocked and you don't want to get your Facebook account blocked. In fact, many chat, I don't think you will send it if it's a message, uh, you'll get an error. What we're doing here with the drip campaign is we're using SMS and emails from ManyChat. And it's nice because within each of those, I call these smart texts and smart emails. Unlike a, a CRM that just may send out a text or an email to somebody, what we do here is we send it out in the same format, an SMS or a text. But if the person engages by clicking a button or a link, that reopens the conversation and the 24 hours in Messenger so now the bot can do its thing and start to nurture and try to close a deal for you and get information for you. So let's take a look real quick what this, uh, what this looks like. So when I hit edit uh, over here, uh, let me move my starting step over here. So when it comes in, um, I do a couple things. One is uh, um, uh, I have a, a switch in my system that says, is the drip campaign done in many chat or not? Because uh, if you're doing drip campaigns in your CRM, uh, I'm with eXp and we get uh, KV Core as our CRM and I have a comprehensive drip uh, email and, and SMS text over there. So I may not want uh, ManyChat to do the drip, although my preference is to let ManyChat do it, not KB Core. And the reason being it's smart and the bot can wake up and start talking to them immediately versus on the KB Core, it's just a text message that they text back to you. The next thing I do is in, in, in when I create these is I always check to see is if the last interaction is less than 23 hours, and over here, the plus sign, I'm using what's called a condition, which is right here, and it pops it in here. And I'm creating these conditions. And basically in here, um, I just basically said any of these conditions apply. So if it's less than 23 hours, right, uh, then I'm going to go down 
uh, this green path, and I'll show you where that lands. If, uh, if it doesn't pass this test, then it comes down here, opted in for SMS true, uh, then at this point, it's gonna come down and it's gonna send a text message. So that's a preference that I have. If I have the person's phone number and an email, uh, I like to send them a text message over an email because text messages get read much more frequently than an email nowadays. Open rates on email are very low. Uh, and then I have the opt-in for an email. So if I don't have their phone number, I'll send them a nice email. And basically, uh, the email is constructed using the email system inside of ManyChat. I will do other uh, videos on um, the channel, uh, specifically covering the new email editor capabilities inside of ManyChat. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit the bell uh, and subscribe so you don't miss that, that when it hits the site. Um, but I will do a, a comprehensive uh, ManyChat course on setting up emails because you can create beautiful emails now in ManyChat. And you want to include those in your drip campaigns. So basically that's it. So uh, what you'll see though is each one of these, because it's a drip, if they say, um, you know, go, they click a button, right? And, and click that button or over here, they click the link. It says, let's connect on messenger and they click the link. Then the, uh, the chat bot will start uh, talking again, right on messenger and start having that conversation with the person and notify me when that lead comes in. So I get instant notice that the bot's now working its magic uh, from the text that went out and the, bot, the the seller now wants to talk to me and I'm going to go visit them at their house to go uh, close a deal. Now, the more dynamic way to throw somebody into a sequence is assigning it right inside a flow. So over in here, if you go to flows where I was before, and let's just say I'll pick one of my flows just as the example. Let's say I take the buyer flow uh, over here or uh, why I'm on it. I'm on the topic of sellers. I'll go down to seller flows. So over in here, I want to um, uh, go in here and I'm confirming details for somebody. Uh, they've already told me about their house and what they want to do. Inside of ManyChat, what we do is we hit edit. And usually towards the back end of the flow, uh, you're going to have a, a, an action window. And right here is the action window. And uh, up here in the blue uh, box, you can click uh, the blue plus sign and there's the action right there. I could drop that in. But since I already have one here, um, you'll see here that uh, I'm assigning them to a sequence at the end of this flow. So when a homeowner comes into my bot, they're talking, they're going through, um, I'll reach out, I'll get a text message immediately. So up in here, there's a notification that's going to send me a text message with the lead. I'll get on the phone with the homeowner. Let's say that they don't want to sell right now. I can either automatically assign them uh, through a flow, if I want to put them into a drip initially, maybe it's on a certain path they take in the flow where I'm going to put them inside the drip. Um, and then, uh, I, as you saw, I can manually assign them inside of audiences. And I could do that right on the ManyChat app. I'm going to do another video uh, on how to leverage the ManyChat app to its maximum. So when you're out in the road, you can always see who's in your bot. Uh, it's a fantastic way to engage your buyers and sellers and renters and agents through the ManyChat experience. So I hope you like this uh, video. Uh, it's an un unutilized capability in ManyChat, but one of my favorites is creating these dynamic drip campaigns. And as always, I have your back. There's a uh, calendar link below. You'll see my business card. If you want to put something on my calendar, click the link, add some time on my calendar, and I'll help you with your uh, drip campaigns or anything else. I'm here to support you, and I am here to partner with you to make this the best decade ever. Enjoy.